What line? Oh, 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 oh. My heart's in my mouth. Welcome back, you beautiful people. Yes, you have read right. I want to see how narrow I can go with the bar width. Now, my preferred bar width is 770 or 760. I'm running 760 at the moment. I'm going to do a run on this because I feel comfortable until I get into the scary bit. Let's go. Oh man, super fun. The best cockpit setup for myself throughout. I've been running this size bar for so many years now. I've got it so dialed in. 760, perfect for throwing around on the trail. Feels like a dirt jump bike. I'm in super control, but we're not here just to ride normal bikes, are we? We are to see how narrow we can go on the bar. Now I'm gonna head up to the top. I'm gonna see what bar there is at the top for me to put into my bike because I feel like it's going to get narrower and narrower and narrower and I'll probably be holding the stem. Let's try it. Let's see what next bar there is. <laughs> oh, hey, look, he has a pair of bars. The bar gods have left me some bars to change. 700 mil. Now, some people out there in the world do run bars this width. People get under 600, dare I say it, I'll be running them, probably. But look at that. Look how many. That's like an inch nearly off each side of the bar. Right? Feels very narrow to me. Let's get the tools. Oh man. Look how narrow they are. And they're not the same rise bar. That's even the worst thing. 700. It's a good starting point for narrow bar challenge. And already it looks narrow and low down. They're old cross-country bars. Look at that. <laughs> right. Done. All on there. Correct cockpit style. That's 700 mil size bars ready. It feels narrow, like narrow shoulders going into this. I'm going to hit a different trail. We're out here at a road gate somewhere in Surrey, uh, Hampshire. I'm going to hit a trail just down there. A little bit different to the jumpy one because I want to get into some nitty gritty mountain bike style bar riding. I'm going to go. See ya. Oh wow, that is, that is very narrow. It's like cross country bike. Whoa. Whoa. Oh, oh, watch that, watch that. Oh, narrow tree now. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> like, as soon as I took off this root thing over here, I didn't see that stump. And look how close I am <laughs> to this tree. Look, someone's already hit it. I thought I was a goner. Like, people ride wider bars on cross country bikes nowadays. 700 is quite narrow. Just bring me back to my old days though, don't jump in, narrow the bar, the easier it is to like do stunts and stuff, weirdly. No, like 760 or 750 is pretty much the norm. 700 is narrow, so, so twitchy, so twitchy. I wanna fire through here again, get to the bottom, push back up and see what the bar gods have dropped off for me next. <laughs> I'm regretting it already. Oh, oh. Oh! 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 my God! Right, that's a big triple. It doesn't look like it, but there's a little landing just before it. After it, you can send it to flat and go big on a triple. I whipped it out too much because the bars make it so much more twitchy to move a bike around. I just went, raw, raw. I was like, oh my gosh, oh. <laughs> Narrow bars, scary. I feel comfortable to the point where I'm like on the edge a little bit, just like that triple. I think I should go back to the top and get narrower bars and go down a techier trail. Because I feel too confident on 700. 
It's only 60 mil away from what I'm used to anyway. It's nothing. Oh, bars. Thank you, bar guard. What size are these? Look at the state. They're like definitely cross country bars. What did I see? Oh my goodness me. These are, these are 600 mil bars. <laughs> right, you don't want to see me change another pair of bars, do you? Because that's just boring. So I'm going to dig deep and find my inner ninja. What the hell? Look how narrow they are. That's like gravel, that's like road bike width, man. That's like where you're on the drop. That's my gravel bike. My digger, my new proof digger, has probably the same width bars as this. There's just enough room for grips. Like if there's another size bar that I need to try, I don't think I'll be able to run grips because, well, I can't. Well, it'd be like gripless. We'll have to find another way of getting grips. Right, 600 mil bars. Look at the state, that does not look right on my bike. 100% not, I can see, I can see that it's gonna, it's gonna be super twitchy. It's gonna be very uncomfortable riding down the trail at high speeds with this thing just doing this. And I'm ready for it. Let's go find a techie trail this time, just to make it extra, extra twitchy. There's one over there. <laughs> Get out of that! Whoa, so twitchy. Paradise Palms, here we go, Dad. Oh my gosh. Oh. Twitchy, twitchy. Oh, oh. Oh, oh, this is steep. Oh, this is steep. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Survive. Oh, all right, it doesn't look steep, but it is steep on off the camera. And the aim of the game is to ride as hard as I would if I had my normal 760 bars, because I don't want this to hinder my fun, even though it's super sketchy. All right, and I come down here again and fire down that gully, because it looks pretty horrible down there. Oh, told you, slippery. Nearly saw my bum. <laughs> oh, oh my, oh, 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 oh. Oh, there's a big rock. Oh, oh. It's just twitchy as hell. It's like I've put my bike on drugs and it's just like, it's like everywhere. Like this minutest of like turn on the bars makes the whole bike go that way or that way, but not that way because I'm like this. Well, that's fine. That's a little bit slow and techy. I think we should uh, spice it up and go faster because the faster it is, the more twitchy the bike will be because, well, you do that and you're going that way. Do that, you're going that way. There's a trail that's techy and fast. That way, follow me. Oh, oh my, bugger me, shiver me timbers. Oh. 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 oh, this trail's set. Oh my gosh, this is fast. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Man, just looking down at that looks terrible. Look how narrow that looks. Like when I'm riding, I quick, I, I don't know what it is, I quickly just adapt to what I've got in front of me just to make sure I can get down the trail safely. Now this is, uh, it still feel, it's twitchy as anything. Don't get, don't get me wrong. That is twitchy as hell, but it's all right. But let's hit some jumps because I love jumps. And that's when the bike's in the air, you just a sudden little movement, the bike just moves around in the air. Whereas you haven't got enough grip just to keep that bike tracking on the floor. When you're in the air, a little bit of a twitch. Oh my gosh, the whole bike goes all over the damn place. I've got some jumps here. I'm gonna hit this table, then a hip, then a table, then the jumps, twit, dead. I'm just gonna hit these jumps. Oh, jumps, 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 jumps. Oh, oh. Oh my, oh, uh oh. Wow. Oh. <laughs> I 
guys, sorry to itch you in there. I'm gonna do it again because it actually felt quite fun, weirdly. Maybe because it's different. That is cool. You get a table on that. Oh, look how easy it is. Look at it. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> yes, so easy. Right, I think that's it. I got too comfortable near the end. Got a bit cocky just doing tables and stuff. How easy it is just to throw away, throw the bike around. I'm gonna head back to the top and see what else there is at the top. I'm guessing it obviously is gonna be narrower. <sighs> I'm glad this is not a big hill to climb up. What the hell? <laughs> Look at the state of these ones. Oh my gosh. Look, that's 500 mil, 500 mil. I see a I see a problem. I won't be able to run grips on this. Like, there's no room for grips. Look, that's where the... Oh, oh well. I'm just gonna have to run 500 mil bars. <laughs> Look at that. That's ridiculous. Surely that's gonna be the last one, right? Surely. Right, you don't wanna see me change these bars again. In a ninja. Coming out. Yeah! Yeah! Whoa! That's narrow ass bars. Like I can't even put my grips on. Like it's that's just gonna be cheating. You're gonna be overhanging by an inch, and that's not gonna give the true 500 mil. So I have no grips, so I don't know what. To, oh! Yes, rubber tape. I'm gonna have to use rubber tape on there. Thanks, Leo. There's my grips. But I am going to put my bar ends in because I do like my body with no holes in it. Voila, there's my grips done. This is the most hack, or this is the most bodged thing I've done so far in my life. Look at that. Tape as, as bars. Is as, I should have just got bar tape, but I'm not a roadie, so I don't have any bar tape. So I got some mastic tape. Stuck it on there, it's actually quite sticky. I don't need to go all the way to the bits because I'm not holding there because I can't get there because of my shifter or my dropper. But that, I think I'm gonna be doing two fingered braking all the way down this trail because I don't know where else to put my finger. I could do middle fingered braking, but I might crush my index finger. Two finger braking. Anyway, let's go down a horrible trail because I'm feeling a bit more, you know, I'm feeling confident in my, oh my, blimey. Oh, where's my dropper? There. Yeah. Oh, muddy problems. Look at this. No worries for narrow bars right now. Whoa, it's actually quite, <laughs> it's actually quite twitchy. Ooh, mud. I'm not gonna mess about. I'm going straight into a, <clears throat> into a black root. s and double red dot thing. That's what it says right there. Never ruined this trail in my life. Wish me luck. Oh. Oh. oh my God. Oh, oh I don't can't break. Oh. 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 Yeah. Oh. 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 This is uncomfortable. This is uncomfortable. Oh. 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 I'm nervous right now. Only because what's in front of me is the S&M trail and it is this nasty little log drop thing into a flat drop and then a step on step off wooden structure that I have not ridden with bars just like this. I haven't ridden it and I'm quite scared because it's uh, steep, it's muddy, it's wet and I don't know what to expect. <laughs> but it is the narrow bar challenge and without these challenges, it wouldn't be a challenge, would it? There's a chicken root right there that looks gnarly in itself as well. It looks horrible. Whereas this is the one way ticket all the way to the bottom with some drops and some fun bits. I'm quite scared. Let's try it. 
Actually, let's not try it. Let's do it. Whoa! Oh! 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 Oh my gosh, dude, that was that, that was actually quite scary. Like, I'm not gonna lie, I've not hit this trail before, let alone on narrow bars like this. <laughs> I'm stoked, I'm stoked, it's so twitchy. The only thing is if you just look straight down the trail, like that, and just don't turn your bars. It's hard when you've got roots doing this everywhere. Ridiculous, right? I feel like I'm confident with these bars. Let's go back to the top and see if there's a smaller pair, which I doubt it because I don't think I'm gonna be able to hold on anymore because there's, there's like nothing, nothing. I can't even get them any more closer. Look at that. All right, to the top, please. Okay, that was terrifying. Absolutely, what the hell are these? It can't surely go smaller. What the hell? Come on! That's not even a bar! That is not even a bar! Look how much grip I've got. If you put that there, look where my lever's gonna go. I've got that! I might even have to like switch my levers around so the lever is on the end, so I have to break. So it's gonna... I'll figure it out. Let's get Ninja on this. Let's get this done. That was the only way I could actually mount my brakes because I couldn't put my brakes in here because the bar tapers and it gets fatter or wider into the stem. The only place I could do it is on the end. So now, uh, if you're American or European, you could ride this bike because your left brake's on the left side and your back brake is on the right side, which is the wrong way for me. I like to have my back brake on the left because it's moto, you know? Clutch is always over here and all, you know, all that jazz. I couldn't mount my dropper post anywhere on my bars if it got in the way. I just had to uh, ta tape it to my top tube where they sh shouldn't belong. But I don't need a drop post. So I'm going downhill, dude. Right. That looks terrible. I recommend you don't try this at home because it's stupid and I'm a trained idiot that I can do this. And the heavens have opened. And I'm gonna go find the muddiest, slipperiest, horriblest trail that Rogate has to offer, and I'm gonna go down it just for giggles. Right, there's a trail down there. See ya! Ah, oh, finally at the top, the trailhead, Rogate trailhead. Look at this, we've got an abundance of trails to choose from. I don't know which one to go for. Enter the Sandman, sounds pretty good. Tunnel vision, that sounds narrow, and I don't want any branches hiking on this. I don't want any branches hitting that. I reckon tunnel vision. <laughs> Just to make it even more scary. Oh, mud. Oh, thank goodness that's shut. Because I sure as hell not gonna ride that trail. That's scary. Tunnel vision. Definitely gonna get tunnel vision. Look how narrow this is. This, my friends, is 400 mil, which it's not. Because 400 mils to there. I'm holding in there, so that's like 300 mil? A little bit less because I have to like break as well. So that's like 250 mil bars. <laughs> it's for stupid. It's stupid. It's, it's not ethnical. Is that even a word? Right. I'm dropping in. It is a word. It's in Blake's dictionary. You should buy it. It's on Amazon. Dropping in. Oh no. Oh, oh, oh no, oh no. Oh my flipping goodness! Channel Vicky! Oh. oh my goodness! Oh! Oh! Oh my god! Oh! I hit my front brake! That was the most scariest thing! My heart's in my mouth. Like, I was like, why am I going over the bars? I'm not leaning over the bars. I'm hitting my front brake. <sighs> oh, I'll do that again. 
I'm gonna go like death grip with my right left hand so I don't touch that front frame. I thought I was going into there. <laughs> oh my goodness me. Right, second time. I'm going way slower and remembering. Oh, there you go. There's another one. Oh, there you go. Hey! Slow wins the race. Oh, slow wins the race. Oh, yeah! Oh, oh remember the back break, Blake. Remember, oh my gosh. Oh, the heavens have opened. The British weather has descended on us. Oh, that was front break. Oh my gosh. Oh! I'm not continuing with that trail. Hell no. That is so scary. I feel like I just want to push to the car and get rid of these bars, man. I got mud in every single hole in my body. My nostrils, my mouth, my hands. My hands don't have holes in them. My eyes, my ears, and the other two. No, they're completely enclosed. Right, thank you very much for watching this video. I am soaked through to the bone. The British weather has uh, fulfilled its goal for the winter and it's starting to rain a hell of a lot. Now, I wouldn't recommend using such bars like this on the trail. It's so narrow, it's pointless. You have no control, no nothing. Like bar width is pretty key when it comes to riding. You don't want to be the shortest dude on the trail and have 800 mil bars because it just lowers your body weight all down to that top tube. You don't want to have such a narrow one like this where you don't have any control. Find your perfect bar width. Mine is 760 mil. I love it. And that's where I'm going right now to put those bars back onto my bike and ride down that trail with ease because that's such a good trail and I can't completely ruin it with these bars. But there, I'm here to show you what it's like to run these silly handlebars. Terrible, they're going straight into the pin. These bars belong on the New York streets, on the London streets, you know, couriering all those lovely goods to other people. Thank you very much for watching this rad video. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Let us know in the comments down below what else you want to see. Like one stupidly small crank arm compared to another. So I'm like, bup, yip, bup, yip. Anyway, let us know in the comments down below. Don't forget to hit the globe, subscribe, because you're missing out on some epic goodness. Click over there for another video, and don't forget to give us a thumbs up like, and I'll see you next time with some better handlebars. That's for sure. See ya.